I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my weekly overview. Lots happening this week, and you know, I think I've covered it all in your um, personal reading. So you'll need to go back to see, uh, you know, how the aspects and movement this week affects your sign directly. But here's the overview. Um, new moon in Cancer. New moon in Cancer is it sits there comfortably because the moon is the ruler of Cancer. So it's all to do with the family, a home, um, a good time to redecorate and you know get any a start, any sort of um, family and home projects going. I mean some some people might be putting their house even on the market and look like selling or others might be just getting together with family um, or close friends. Now the Sun does move into Leo at the end of the week on the 22nd and joins Mercury which is retrograde on the 15th in the same sign. Now this is the fifth house of um, the zodiac. Now in this position you want to be careful that you're not taking any risks that can put you in jeopardy and of course in each even though it's the fifth house of the zodiac uh, for each sign it represents a different house which is aligned to different areas of your life okay so go back and have a listen to your uh, individual readings to find out how as I said how it's affecting you directly so Mercury retrograde let's talk about that for a minute Mercury is the god of communication so it governs all levels of communication and including electronics, computers, phones, good time to back up your um, communication, you know, like you back up your work on your computer. Uh, my phone, for instance, this morning was jammed, so I had to reboot it, and you know, so um, okay, Mercury retrograde has <laughs> begun. Mercury retrograde is a good time to finalize anything. I mean, if you've got, um, it on any area of your life, as I said, affect a different area of your life in your solar chart. And of course, there's also your personal charts. So it's a good time to bring things to a close and rather than start a new, um, you know, start new projects. So it's a good time to do some planning, some organizing, scheduling, uh, relook at your lifestyle, uh, relook at your productivity. All these things are good to do when Mercury is retrograde. So it gives you that chance to just reevaluate, take take a step back and reevaluate. Now there are a number of aspects this week with Mars. Now Mars, I love Mars. It's the planet of um, assertiveness and action, but it is also the planet of aggression. So as I often say, assertiveness and uh, and aggressiveness are a fine line in between there. So you want to make sure that uh, you're you're in control now Pluto is also in there so Pluto is the power planet so there's a square between Mars and Pluto so this can make you sort of overwork you know just push you to do too much it can also indicate there's a, there's some obstacles to overcome or maybe the obstacles are showing you that uh, that path is is no longer right for you uh, you need to be careful of power plays and you, you know I like to say to people in a, when with this type of aspect sit back take a deep breath um, reflect and ask yourself how important is this in the big scheme of things okay so just get a better perspective on what's actually happening before you you know launch into action and doing and saying something that you could regret because let's remember Mercury is a retrograde as well so um, there are it's not there is also a um, opposition with Mercury and, and Uranus so that can really make you very outspoken frank so um, you know brutal honesty is, is not always the way to go and if you feel like being brutally honest to someone then 
ask yourself what your intention is because that's what it comes back to always, your intention. Is your intention to hurt them? Is your intention to help them? Is your intention just to simply unburden yourself? Okay, and that'll tell you whether it's whether it's the right or not right thing for you to do in that situation, okay? Um, so Uranus also goes retrograde as well. That was last week on the 13th. So there's a lot of different movement this week and some, some challenges there. But, you know, I like to say to people, don't be scared of challenges because it's what, like, pushes you forward into the next area of your life and sometimes we just need that little bit of a push and that can come through other people's uh, actions which reflect on you you know if two people are, uh, uh, you know communicating or the dynamic you've got a dynamic between two people if one person changes what they do then the whole dynamic changes okay so if person a does one thing, person B does another thing, and person B changes the response, person A has to change automatically. So sometimes decisions can be, you know, taken out of your hands. Other times it's just throwing it up to you to look and review, rethink what you're doing. And uh, always it comes back to you. You're in control and um, that's the way it should be. But your intention of what you do is very important as well. So have a great week everybody and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel.